So I'm going to do a demonstration on how to check someone's blood pressure. Um, I don't know about you guys, but there's been plenty of times when going into the hospital or clinic, I kind of wondered what are the importance of taking vitals. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of like why it's being taken. Um, I will need a volunteer, preferably someone who has a shirt on. Don't all stand up at once, please. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Thank you. So what blood pressure is, is the blood, okay. um, it's just making sure that you're getting good blood flow uh, from your heart to your organs. Um, first, you want to start off with hand sanitation. So preferably, you want to wash your hands, obviously. Um, so first, what I like to do is just kind of inform the patient. Um, so hi, my name is Sierra. Today, I'm going to take blood pressure. Um, you want to make sure that your patient's feet are flat on the floor and their legs are across. And then do you think you can kind of, yeah. So you can find um, blood pressure cuffs at like CVS. Um, they do come with a stethoscope. I just kind of have my, I bought my own. So we're going to place the cuff on their arm here. And you don't want it too tight. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pulpate the brachial artery and where the brachial artery is, it's at the bend of the arm here and it's going to be on the inside. So what we're going to do is we are going to estimate our systolic number which is the very first number of the blood pressure and so we're going to place our fingers here. and you're going to watch the gauge. So you're going to pump it until you don't feel this artery anymore. Okay, so I got about 100 there. Um, so after you got that number, you are going to add 30 onto it. So this is when you're going to actually take the blood pressure. <laughs> so you're going to take your stethoscope, place it in your ears here, and you're going to take this part of the stethoscope and place it right here. You don't want to place it too hard, otherwise you're going to kind of disrupt the um, the gauging of it. So you're just going to place that here, and you're going to you're going to watch the gauge, and you're going to listen. So you're going to um, once you got that estimated systolic number, since I got 100, you're going to add 30 to it. So I'm going to pump it up to 130, and I'm going to listen. I'm going to release the pressure of here, and we're going to listen. And as soon as you hear that first sound, that is going to be your systolic number. And then we're going to listen for the last sound, which is your diastolic number. And I should have done this before, but you're going to feel, you want to let your patient know that there's going to be a slight pressure on their arm. So there's going to be a slight pressure there. So I got about 110 over 70. I'm going to release this cuff off of your patient. Okay, so since it was 110 over 70, that is a normal blood pressure. Um, you kind of want to determine and know like what is a high or is a low blood pressure. Um, a, 120 over, I believe it is, 
or 90 over 60 and then 120 over 80 is normal. Um, a high would be 140 over 90 or higher, which then you are getting into hypertension. Um, a low blood pressure would be nine, or anything below um, 90 over 60. So what, a, what that kind of means is the first number of your systolic number is, um, is going to be your heart contracting and then your diastolic is when it's kind of releasing. Um, once you kind of um, notice higher blood pressure, that just means that you're kind of going into heart condition, so that links to diabetes, obesity, and whatnot. Um, I know many of you probably won't be checking people's blood pressure often, but now you know when you go into the hospital, you know why they're checking it for you. Um, I personally check blood pressure, especially during COVID time when kind of all were checking each other's vitals and whatnot. I had to check people's blood pressure every single time I walked into a residence room, so kind of got a little used to it. 